Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to our vanilla Minecraft series. So today what we're going to be doing, which I've already been building, so I can't turn around right now. But what we're going to be doing is we are going to be working on kind of the monastery. We're going to bring religion to this town. So we're going to be working on the monastery. I will say we do not finish it this episode. It's a very large build. Um, or a fairly, not a very large, a fairly large build. We'll finish it um, in the next episode for sure, but um, we do get a very large push in on it uh, this episode, and we have a village raid that happens, um, so we will check that out as well. So anyways, without further ado, we got a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and get into a bit of speed building. Okay, so I decided on this hilltop up here. would make a perfect spot for kind of a monastery, temple, you know, uh, type area and so I started off of course just kind of smoothing this out and then we're going to place out basically where primary pillar spots are going to be we're gonna go ahead and bring those up with uh, just cobble for right now just getting a general shape we'll come back through and uh, mix it up with our other stone types which of course we're using stone smooth stone and site cobblestone uh, for actually the majority of the stuff today it's gonna be a lot of that as well as a few other blocks mixed in. We're going to be using things like blackstone and quartz and some prismarine and some dark oak and just all kinds of stuff like that. So anyways, just kind of bringing this up, getting the general shape um, of what's going to be kind of our monastery temple uh, area. So it's a very, very long, very um, thin type shaped building, <laughs> basically and a very, very steep roof. We're going for a very large roof. Now, right up here, I did get a couple of surprise visitors. Um, I actually killed a little, you know, a little band of raiders. And then when I went back to my house, I, in, I started a raid. And it's actually our very first raid, but I did, for some reason, the, the two villagers that were in my house, I don't know if it was due to them or, I don't know, doors or something um, it saw my town my my little village as a house so you can see a couple of raiders over there a couple um, yeah a couple of raiders with crossbows over there so anyways whenever I get near my house um, I do instigate a raid so there is the very first this is where the camera kind of speeds up so I should have sped up that first part maybe um, <laughs> because it was a little bit slow coming through um, for some reason it felt like it was a lot quicker uh, when I was doing the replay editing but anyways um, so you can see the first few waves of the raid actually aren't too bad but they do pick up <laughs> quite quickly so right here we start getting some witches and stuff and they spawned on top of the stable there's a couple times where I was like where are they because the way my towns laid out I was like where are they and I was like looking and then there's a couple of holes around kind of where the nether portal are and I had uh, writers fall into those holes a couple times. Um, you can see those didn't want to get off the roof. They were like, no, we're staying up here. And um, then over to here, we've got another wave coming in from this side this time around. Of course, we kind of have like the little wave counter. And I was trying to run around and pick up the, uh, the ones that would get lost and stuck in places. Um, they were actually really prone. You'll see here in a little bit. They're really prone getting stuck next to the, my uh, starting home. So they actually ran me back up because there were so many coming. They ran me back up to the windmill there for a minute. The ones on the um, the big oxen things, and uh, yeah, you can see a bunch on the side of that on the side of that starter house. But the ones with the axes, the what the pillagers, and then the um, the ones on the whenever they're riding the big oxen cow things. Um, they actually do a decent amount of damage and then of course when the the illagers come out um, they're they're not they're actually not stout but the little things the little creatures the I can't ever remember the name of some of these new mobs but the little creatures are uh, <laughs> they're just annoying more than anything because they're so hard to hit but um, anyways we did end up getting five totems of undying during this raid which is pretty awesome um, and actually right here you can see that right down there at the bottom left there is a pillager that's why I brought the camera out just to show you they love getting stuck in just weird places um, 
so he is down there and I ran around the, t the almost the entire town looking for this guy and I was like where is he because it was like one raider remaining and I was like oh there he is I heard him you know making noise I've got to get those holes cleaned up and here we go another surge of guys I mean there's there's so many of them it was actually a lot of fun um, it was a lot, there was a lot more mobs than the last raid that I did. The last raid that I did, or the last few raids that I did were in 1.14, so I feel like they buffed up the mobs at some point. Either that or I just got really unlucky. Um, I'm actually hiding, getting my, just getting my health back up, because all I have right now on me is cooked fish, so. Um, and these guys, they were so conveniently stuck, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna stand here and beat them to death. I did have a few illagers riding on, um, or evokers. Yeah, evokers. That's what I'm thinking of. Evokers. Yeah, look at all that. Just insanity. And the ones stuck by the house. And they, they get stuck there and they won't really move. They get stuck under the uh, the trap door there. <laughs> and I'm battling those little sprites out there. Um, actually brought the camera out because, of course, I'm running around wild. Sometimes the camera hits things like trees. So, And it doesn't show up when I'm... For some reason, it doesn't show up until the render... I guess. Um, but, yeah, it was uh, it was actually a bit of fun. I decided just to do it in replay because we could do it at a pretty decent speed. I mean, this is, I'm not sure exactly what time speed this is, but uh, it's a lot faster and I can do kind of more of an aerial view because you can really, you can definitely see where I'm at because of my glowing purple armor. Um, so I figured that was uh, probably the best the best for this so anyways I did get the hero of the village advancement and then right after that I went back to building I didn't really have anything that I wanted to buy with it so I was just like well I'll just go back to building um, really all I ever buy is mending books and I'm pretty well set on mending books at the moment I've bought all that I really need um, I did start working on my enchanted hoe and my fortune shovel so which is really the last two major tools that I need but I still need a good bow and I'll probably make a good trident and crossbow and shears and stuff also. But and elytra. Whenever I get around to going to the end. Um, but you can see the the roof of this building is going to be done in blackstone. So just kind of bringing this up and um, getting that roof done. It's very very steep. Basically, what I did was I did stairs, block, stairs, block, stairs, block, and you know of course when by block I mean block and then stairs on top of the block so it's actually a very steep roof and I did go ahead and I kind of inset the black stone below the cobblestone to kind of give it that ridge look um, on the top now um, the next thing we're working on is adding just kind of a small little side building here that uh, basically comes off of the main temple area and uh, would be used for just like general I don't know, storage and stuff like that, right? And um, we're going to start building up the walls here. We're using, originally I had spruce down, but I decided to change it to dark oak. I think it looks a bit better, you know? And I was thinking, well, with the wall that I'm going to put on, I think it's going to look better also. And this little storage building is going to get kind of a, just a small little humped roof um, that comes off the side. I don't want it to come up very tall because I don't want it to kind of block the view of the building. But I wanted to come up just a small reasonable amount here. And you can see that the walls were actually doing in smooth quartz um, for those walls. And I think it, by the end of it, I think it, that turned out pretty good. And then the front there, we're going to finish that out here in just a little bit. Um, it's actually not going to be like circular shape. I decided to go more of a triangular shape. Uh, I was kind of playing around with some ideas while I was building this out. So, um, And then... Let's see, I think I'm working on the other side, or getting materials. I had to run down and get materials. I did do a line, you can kind of see them, you'll see them better here in just a minute, but I did do a line of dark oak signs across um, the top of the quartz walls. And then I'm bringing out the, uh, kind of the shape of these window sections. So I'm doing it in blackstone, just kind of for a bit of strong accent colors against that cobblestone. And when we add the glass in, I think it really starts to pop uh, overall so and that is pretty much the shape now the front does get a few more windows the back I haven't added windows on the back aside from just this big large main window that's because I haven't done the interior so I've got to say do I need windows in the back because I think that one window is probably gonna be all that we're going to add but there is a couple 
small bits of detail that I was planning on adding I didn't get around to this episode but that's all right kind of like how the front has those bits of block that come out um, but you can see the front here we do have a few windows on the front section and we're starting to build some planter boxes off around underneath kind of the quartz windows what's going to be windows and adding some detail to the top which is just blackstone walls and iron bars on the top so you can see it's starting to take shape it's not overly large or fancy or anything like that but I think it works um, for what I was going for especially when the rest of the buildings start coming together and stuff for this uh, for this monastery slash temple I think it's starting to come together nicely and you can see I did go with purple glass. That's just a personal preference. Plus it kind of makes it look like a nether portal or something up there, uh, which is kind of cool. And you can see along the edges here, I have started adding in redstone lamps for the windows because I decided that that would make actually a very good lamp, I think, or a very good window, I think. Um, and we will light them a little bit later um, so that it'll glow at night and stuff like that. Um, and now I'm starting to kind of shape up what's going to be the platform that this is actually set on and kind of the foundation of this and all um, and bringing some stairs, getting my stairs laid out and just the general shaping of things. So I kind of get, went with sort of a wild curve shape. They're just more fun to walk up. To be honest, that's like what I was thinking. I was like, they're just more fun <laughs> instead of just a straight. Realistically, it would probably be more of a straight or angled staircase, but the curvy one's just a whole lot more fun to walk up. That's totally my reasoning there. And starting to flatten this area here and we're gonna start building the dormitory area so where everyone will uh, sleep and live that you know works in the monastery and everything just starting to bring that together and um, we will add a little bit more up to the the temple um, here shortly but um, just kind of bringing these up these are very plain buildings they would not be fancy houses they would just be very very plain dormitories um, you know for the priests and the acolytes and everything of the temple I think so um, the roof we are doing in a combination of cobble and dark oak so I, at first I thought about doing the blackstone but I was like no these need to be very overall pretty plain buildings and I also wanted some kind of a difference between the blackstone roofs which are actually going to be very prevalent within this area beyond the dormitory and the um, and the mess hall so I decided to go with dark oak for those um, for the roofing and then just adding a cobblestone top to it and then bringing out a small little bit um, kind of a mirrored inset little bit of cobblestone roof that's going to overhang off of the side of it so um, and you can see I had some doors there we're actually going to drop it I decided I wanted it to be just slightly elevated um, so we are going to drop that grass layer and drop that uh, yeah all of that pretty much um, and then we're adding just some pillars and things to the, the front of it, just to add a little bit of detail stuff. Some lamps, and I'm fixing the corner bits, uh, the corner bits of cobble there, just to make them look a little bit better. I didn't want just a solid dark oak corner, you know? Um, so I decided to just bring out a little co uh, cobblestone V there. Um, overall, this, this build actually took a while. Um, probably took longer than the last speed build, I think. Even though we didn't get as many projects done necessarily, but they were larger projects and stuff. So you can see I've started building out the foundation that this is going to rest on. It does have a little lip that comes out. Of course, that's just stairs um, up there. Um, right here, I think I forgot to hit pause and I was actually just killing some mobs <laughs> to repair my shovel a little bit because it was starting to get damaged uh, from all the kind of all the clearing and stuff. Um, I did get it up to, uh, upgraded to a netherite shovel though during this while I was farming more blackstone because I didn't have enough. But you can see I'm starting to just add a little bit of detail there on the side of that building because it was way too flat. Um, and by the way I do turn them back off the god rays. I updated my uh, shaders so the god rays were on a couple times but that was because I updated and then I, I was like oh I have to reset all my options so I got those fixed. Sorry about that. Um, but you can see I brought out a wall that runs around there, just blackstone, of course. Um, and then just kind of adding some bushes and stuff. It's not totally done as far as exterior detail work. We'll get into more of that next episode, but we did go ahead and add just a little bit in with the bushes. So right now we're going to go ahead and start dropping the ground here. 
um, because at this point I want to just kind of make the the dormitory slightly elevated above just the courtyard itself right just one block but it does make them a little bit more have a little bit more oomph when you're walking through than just sitting flat on the ground um, so I decided to just raise that and of course I'm just doing this in you know the cobble and aside stone brick smooth stone uh, mix that we've been using and yeah just steadily building this out um, I think I was getting materials right here or something <laughs> I had to run over to the house and sometimes it took a minute whenever I was like crafting things out or I may have been actually sorting things off and forgot to hit pause that's very very possible um, and then right here we're gonna start building out these staircases getting rid of just the cobble because of course I was using cobble just to kind of plot them out and so we're gonna add basically the wall sections and the floor sections using a lot of blackstone and cobble I think they just work well together um, for this build dormitory is excluded they're a little bit more plain but like I said they probably would be and we've got a couple other buildings that I want to add to this structure this overall structure um, in the next episode and uh, yeah I think that's like a chunk reload or something where I went off probably down into the mine because I was a couple times I was running out of stone uh, within the speed build for sure I used a ton an absolute ton of stone um, whereas pretty much all my clearing and stuff within this episode like right in here whenever I'm clearing things I was using silk touch shovel to get all the grass and I was using silk touch pick to get all the stone because I was constantly running out of it so right now I'm just kind of zooming around I'm adding like little odds and ends to it and now I'm starting to bring the roof section out so that it overhangs over um, kind of the walkway what would be kind of our version of a cloister it's not like an actual cloister look at them they're posed and ready and then they will just run off I'm working on the back side here but uh, not technically a cloister but kind of our version of a cloister so to speak um, I don't really have room for like a full-blown uh, Catholic monastery cloister for sure but I guess I could but it would be a lot smaller um, we'll make larger churches down the road but or larger temples I say temples because it's fantasy world it's not really any any particular religion um, now I will say during while I was working on this we did add a couple data packs um, to the to the server so we do have mob heads player heads um, mini blocks um, which is like wandering traders can sell like miniature versions of blocks and um, then we also have posable armor stands so those are available to us uh, I did get a few heads during this speed build mainly wandering traders that would come up and they had stuff I didn't want um, at least at the time <laughs> I didn't want um, but right now we're just kind of bringing out the shape of all of this bringing down foundations we do still have a bit of work to do in that regard but we'll tackle that um, of course in the next speed build because like I said we didn't get everything done but we got a good dent in on it now right here we're gonna start clearing out for what's going to be the kind of the mess hall um, area so basically a it's gonna have a small kitchen and it's gonna have tables where you know everybody that works at the temple can eat as well as maybe you know some of the villagers come up here and eat maybe on festive occasions or something like that they might come up here um, so just kind of adding that out um, it's gonna be pretty much the same style as the dormitories the only exception is the roof does come up a little bit taller and we are going to add a chimney off on the side of it because we'll be cooking food inside of the building right so um, get the exterior of the furnace done once again I'm not really doing interiors because um, we'll do those kind of in bulk um, all at the same time or all roughly at the same time um, which we might start tackling some interiors in the next couple weeks we'll see just kind of getting a lot of our general village layout done and I need to get sheep somewhere probably it wasn't this episode it probably won't be next episode it'll probably be the episode after when we get around to our sheep <laughs> at some point so anyways now we're gonna kind of start finishing off some of this grass area we've got the mess hall built you can see it's starting to take shape here and what I want to work on now is bringing um, kind of the stairs that are going to come down and 
connect the the village itself up to this hilltop where the monastery is located. Now we will connect this all over to the village. I have some what I think is going to be some interesting ideas for that, but uh, we'll get into that in the next episode. So right now it's all pretty much just flat grass, but we'll get to that. Now the next thing we're going to be building is a fountain. I decided I wanted a large fountain in this courtyard here, which will add a bit of stuff around it, you know, because right now it's just going to be a fountain in the middle of this grassy area. We will add a bit of that next episode. So we're going with primarily black stone with prismarine, a little bit of glowstone. I did try just to see what quartz would look like on it. I wasn't a fan, so I decided to keep it with the black stone. I just love uh, black stone. And this is our first build that we've really got to use a lot of black stone. We used it on the little outdoor oven, but that doesn't really count. And now we're going to be building our last project for today, which is going to be a bell tower. So this bell tower would signify um, when there's certain celebrations or maybe there's a death in the village, they might ring the bell. And then if the village ever comes under attack, you know, they would ring the bell. Um, kind of like the little small bell in vanilla Minecraft, except it's a very massive bell <laughs> that would ring out over this valley, I think. Um, so basically going with a combination of dark oak, black stone, and our stone types that we've been using for our other builds. Um, you can see some chisel blackstone up there, and I put a large bale made out of solid gold, which was fun to farm, not really fun. I actually ended up farming gold in the nether, I just found it to be a lot faster to do that. And uh, I tried putting a flag up there, and I was like, no, if I'm going to do a large flag, I need to actually make one out of wool blocks and put it up here, because that little small one isn't going to, uh, isn't going to work out. And then I started bringing this out. Originally, I brought it out as uh, quartz bricks was not a fan and so then I decided to swap it out for dark oak as you can see and then we're gonna hit it with just a little bit of detail and some flags and there we go that's what we're up to at the moment it's coming together um, right now this building needs more backdrop it will get some more backdrop I think so it's not um, at first it was like I kept looking at it and I was like, man, this is just like a big building. And it, it looked strange by itself, just sitting on that hill. But as I've started adding the additional things to it, I think it's starting to come together. Um, next episode, we're actually going to build a segment that comes over and we're going to connect this over to, you know, the rest of the village and everything. Um, but I was aiming for just kind of a monastery up on this hill um, with all the, you know, kind of the buildings that would be with a monastery. I even Googled uh, buildings and areas that would be in a monastery. <laughs> so, um, anyways, what we have, uh, first up, we have the bell tower, which is the last thing that we finished, but the bell tower here, um, I will connect the pathway over probably to that. Um, but we do have the little bell, uh, the bell string. I may add some more stuff into here because right now it's really, really hollow, but of course we're not really doing too much in the way of interiors just yet. Um, even though this is somewhat of an exterior space, but still kind of an interior. So we will add some more stuff to this, but we actually have a really nice view from up here. And this place actually looks really, really nice. I think at night, the monastery up here, um, especially from down below and even up here. Um, we do have a bell up here. I tried adding a lip to it. I didn't like the way the lip worked. And so I think what I'm going to do, we've actually added, um, just just uh what yesterday or no just today yeah just today we added um a few data packs to um our stuff so we do have um heads and player heads and posable armor stands and then we also have the mini blocks uh from the traders now i'm not for sure i'm familiar with the, mil the mini blocks you know basically the way it works but i think it just makes mini blocks almost like heads of blocks i don't think i can place them boom 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 around this. So I may do something else for the lip. I didn't like an entire block. It just felt too bulky, uh, at least for this bell tower. And I mean, realistically, this would be pretty close to like a normal bell-ish, I think. But I think this would be a little bit more accurate than doing that huge lip, but I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, if you want to see the view from up here, we do have a nice little view of the area. Now, this build, of course, very unfinished. Um, we still have a lot of landscape work to do and backdrop work to do, which we'll talk about here in a minute. But anyways, that is the the watchtower, I mean the bell tower 
Uh, and this would be, this would kind of serve the purpose of, you know, they would ring the bell for if they're having like a big um, thing there at the, the temple. I'm not going to say church because technically, um, even though I use crosses here, I thought it just kind of worked, but it's not really like a, like a church per se, just a temple um, is a little bit more accurate, even though I'm calling it a monastery, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> it's fantasy. Um, over here, a fountain, um, I just kind of threw it together. I was going to make it a little bit larger, but uh, I thought this was a bit better. When I started making it larger um, and adding different colors and things like that, I didn't really like it. So um, just black stone and glowstone and then, of course, prismarine uh, stuff down at the bottom there. And then over here, this building, of course, the interior is not done. And I may add a little bit more detail on the outside. I'm not for sure, but um, backside looks like this. I may add windows to the back. I'm waiting though for that until I work out the interior because it just makes more sense before I go just placing in windows and not really having the interior laid out. But this is actually going to be kind of a sort of a mess hall um, area with a kitchen. That's why we have the chimney out there. Um, it is going, we're going to cook food and, uh, and everybody, you know, can eat there. Um, it will be kind of for the workers for the monastery, but also, I mean, the people from the village and stuff can come up um, and have food. Maybe after like a, a big temple service. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Um, over here, this is kind of dormitories. So, uh, of course, the interiors aren't done for them. Once again, we'll be doing interiors in bulk instead of spending a lot of time for each build doing the interiors. Um, we'll do the exteriors and then we'll just bulk because it's easier for me to mass produce paintings and beds and things like that that would go into these buildings than craft them, you know, bit by bit for um, for each individual building. So backside of this looks like that. And it's basically just a lot of rooms where the monks or, you know, whatever would, uh, where they would live. And this little area here, it's a little bit larger. This is going to be kind of like sort of... Uh, maybe like a study or day room um, type area. And then if we continue on, and then the back side of this, which we'll probably see some work come next episode, um, maybe push this back and just go ahead and have a full wall that comes down. I don't know. Um, but if we head up this and up to, and this will be, we're going to put some benches and things out here and then just some flowers just kind of a scenic, this is a really nice little scenic spot. I want to be able to just kind of sit and overlook the, the village, you know. Now if we head up here, um, up to the temple proper, this is what we got. So, kind of a nice little, I don't know, I love the, I love the colors and stuff. They just kind of worked out very well. And then over on the side here, we kind of have this little area. Um, throw a brewing stand in just for a little bit of variety. Um, and then we'll put some plants. I haven't put the plants in there. I forgot about that. And actually, now I think about it, I think I forgot to do... Yeah, I forgot to finish off the back side of this. But <laughs> we'll get to that next episode. I started bringing this up, and then I got sidetracked and for, totally forgot about it. Over there is Wega's um, base, which I haven't seen Wega online in a while. So. so if we come on through, of course, I'll add some grass and things to this. A little bit more detail work for the exterior. Um, but this is kind of the temple space that we've got. And interior-wise, not even done. These are my uh, my chests. <laughs> I have tons of gravel now, which is good because I use a lot of gravel for uh, ground and stuff like that. And that's why I haven't really finished the core start because I didn't have any gravel, you know, doing the core start and the gravel throughout the town in little spots. I was out of gravel and I was like, well, I'm planning on putting a monastery up here. I'll just wait <laughs> because I knew I was going to get a lot of gravel from this, uh, which did which did indeed happen. So, I mean, that's pretty much the build. I mean, it's not a ton of stuff, but we did get a good dent in it, and we should be able to finish it out uh, come next episode. Now, the remaining buildings that I'm planning on adding, of course, I'm planning on adding a ton of exterior uh, detail work, like maybe a little shed, I'm thinking, right over there, um, that's kind of used for, like, storage, um, kind of like an open, an open type little shed area, uh, where maybe deliveries are brought up from the village, um, you know, like food and things like that, and they're stored here. Um, I also thought about having, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I thought about having the monastery be the ones that are producing the wine from the vineyard. 
So I'm still kind of on the fence about that. If I decide to do that, the vineyard will probably run um, up along through here and then back in in that direction a little ways. Um, and if we do that, we'll have to do um, a couple buildings related to the vineyard work. But we'll see how things go. Like I said, I'm still kind of on the fence about that, so I don't know for sure. And then we are going to add, you probably noticed there's a couple pieces of like random cobblestone back here. There's actually going to be a large library that sits back here. I'm thinking a large library back here, plus it'll add some more, you know, large buildings to kind of offset some of these others that we've got. And then we're also going to have like a general type wellness um, spice in um, in this monastery. So I'm thinking a combination building that serves as an infirmary and as a public bathing house um, type building up here as well. So those two buildings for sure. And then if I decide to do the vineyard, have them in charge of the vineyard, I want to run the vineyard probably up and around back in here. Um, and add the, the, you know, add the requisite buildings and stuff for that. But we'll see how things go. Um, <clears throat> and then I want to push back. We're going to bring this through and add a lot more grass and make it a little bit more lush. I don't want this stony type mountain area. I want this to be more of like a grassy hill type. Um, a hilltop is what I'm thinking. And uh, I do want the backdrop to be more trees and stuff than just these rocky, um, you know, faces that kind of run around this. So... I want to bring up um, probably a dark oak forest. I think it would just look nice back here. Um, so we are going to be working on that come next episode. There's actually still a lot of work to do, but it's, <laughs> maybe it won't take too long. We did spend a few minutes today um, looking at the, the raid because it was the first raid that I had ever had. And we did get five totems of undying, which is awesome. I just kind of wanted to showcase that a little bit on camera. But anyways, I mean, that's pretty much what we got done today, and we'll continue on, um, you know, in next week's episode, and hopefully get this finished out. We'll see how things go. And also, one thing I want to make a quick note of, I did get Efficiency 5 on our axe, and I got our Silk Touch pick up to a Netherite pick, um, and got a little bit more Netherite farmed up while I was farming Blackstone and Gold. Making that bale, making that bale was expensive. <laughs> it was very, very expensive. We do, technically we have a gold farm on the server, but for most things, I'm not big on auto farms because I like to play Minecraft, and when I have just a ton of auto farms, it's not, there's not as much farming, and you know, that's part of Minecraft that I like. Um, I don't like too many auto farms, truth be told, aside from like Guardian Farms. Guardian Farms, there's no real <laughs> great way to farm Prismarine, and uh, Guardian Farms are kind of a must, but. Anyways, anyways, um, I'm going to end it out here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys for next week's episode. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.